using this library you can merge your videos we can have two videos that you can merge so you can merge it horizontally vertically and also the third option that will be coming soon is you can uh, merge the videos by stacking them video merge dot pi so these are the three points that we can do so first is x is 0 second is x is 1 third is x is 2 so either you can merge the videos horizontally vertically or in the third third axis that is on top of each other so it is time based axis and uh, one more feature that will be coming soon is you can directly uh, you can take frame from one video and then another then third video and then take those threes to create the video so it can be used nice and let's have a demo so i have a video video merge.py in that i will i will do this so I will open terminal and uh, let's create a new environment. So on the create dash n that environment name is ygen y test and uh, python 3.7 anything will work but python 3.7 so it will work. So I have uh, imported, I have uh, entered that environment. So I will write the code now. Let's see how I can do it. Import gen by. And let's see if it is there. Then Python video merge. So it is saying it is uh, no module found. So I will install it. Hit install. Cool. Uh, this uh, this package is installed now. Let's try this again. Yeah, this package is imported now. So let's follow the official repository. So how to use it? So this is the basic code. So we'll be using this. First is stack video. So basically, we will be stacking two videos. So we can merge them, like video one, video two, and second is and second is video one, video two. So we have two videos, archery and cycling. I have to find these videos first. So, yeah, found two sample videos which I can use. So I will just paste them here. So first is archery and second is car. Second is cars mp4 and let's do this and to display what is happening so i will have to display enable display equal to true so let's see what the output comes it is showing uh, tqdm required so i will install install tqdm cool. and now let's run it so as you can see the video is running two videos are running uh, consequently and the size of them is fixed so let me change the size that argument is i will just check the documentation that argument is size so video size size equal to video size and video sizes let's use 300 cross 400 that is width height yeah width height so 300 cross let's make it 300 cross 300 and yeah the video is working fine and i have the two videos on uh, like in one video converted so let's try with single video
I have removed one. So, single video is working pretty fine. So let's just increase the size a little bit. It's 500 or 500. And the size is increased. So if you want to scale it more, like Mm, 900 cross 900 just for single view we can do that now the video size is too much it's working fine we can use Q to stop the video stream so it will keep on uh, running Con constantly it will keep on running so let's uh, revert the size to 300 cross 300 and let's add one more video to it that is cars mp4 Let's see the output now. So again, two videos are merged. It is working fine. And let's. Okay, now I want three videos. I want cars before and after that. So now the car video is before and after that the video, and I can also use it once more. So now the new video is this and it is working perfectly fine for all four videos but now what's the use of it we want to save it somewhere so that we can use anymore right so let's save it so for save we have to pass the argument that is i have to check the documentation so the, the save path is write path and write path is video path so i will copy it and this right path is video path so video path equal to uh, let's suppose i i want to say combined dot mp4 now fps and all i don't want to pick so whatever the fps it will get fine just it should work and let's start it so there is uh, one error message that i got that kind can't write an infinite video keep a video limit so what this means is when we have two videos, it will continuously stream each other. So the two videos we will keep on running every time. But we want a video to be written. So uh, to write a video, we have to have a specific thing that when this video ends, then stop the recording. Or then the second video ends, uh, just stop the recording. Because we can't just write it for the full time. right? So for that, also there is this limit video. Limit video is this. I will pass this parameter because uh, if I don't pass this limit video parameter then the video will keep on running so if the video is keep uh, on running then how we know that we have to stop the processing stop the video writing so for that we have to use limit video so limit video is basically uh, which of those two videos which video should end and stop the recording so limit video is basically now Let's add limit video equal to so my first one is cars second is archery and again cars and cars so i want that video one that is archery that is for around let's see the duration of it i have to use the duration is 10 second so that's fine in, the, in 10 second the video will be written so rp that is 10 second so the second video will also stop so now it is running it is capturing the frames so just keep on running 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 and now the video is being written so it is saying rp video ended because we have set the limit video to rp and that is ended so the, uh, the video is ended we have stopped now and video is written at combine.mp4 so let's see how the video looks like combined 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 okay it should be here so combine.mp4 correct here is the video that we have and the limit is archery so if the archery video is ended then the whole recording will stop irrespective of the second video if it is ended or not so if the video right the video is written perfectly well that's nice and uh, we also have the setting to choose the fps so if we set the writer fps which is default none 
so if we set that then no need to put that fps it will continuously keep on running if you don't want to view what is inside then you can just set the display as false and it will not show you let me just clean it a bit if display is false then it will not show you anything it will just uh, internally run the video merge them and it is it is working and now the video is completed then it just wrote the video without showing you what happened to that and let's say now the limit video is zero now when a video is zero then it will take time because the second video is a little big so every time that second video ends the smaller video and it will keep on looping it it will just keep on looping it until the second video is complete now the cars video which is which we selected is ended so it will write those video write all the frame now the frames are written and again it is combined at mp4 so here the video is so as you can see the the cycle person the cycle video is continuously running and uh, when when this arcery video when this arcery video just ends and it it automatically restarts it so that video will be restarted again and again but the second one will keep on running and when the second one will come to end the recording will stop so this is a nice thing. you can choose which of the video length you want to have so that both can be there in future i will uh, in future that uh, the time duration that you want to be running so you can add that later but for now it is this and if you want you we can show that and we can just uh, write path as none so it will not write the video but it will show us so i will make display for to show to just see what is happening in that so this is what is happening so whenever this video the second video ends it will automatically restart it so in in the logs you can also see so uh, videos found then fine video ended restart in arcery so two times the video arcery is restarted three times it is restarted because the length of cars video is 24 and the this one is less so i have set the limit video so when the cars video ended the streaming ended the program closed so that is the thing now let's see another thing that is how we can see this stacked vertically so you have to just change the x is equal to 1 and now it will show you the videos attached vertically that is a nice thing but for now it is not looking well i will just reduce or remove some of the videos let's just keep only two videos and the size is fine let's run it so now it is looking very nice Two videos stuck on stacked on top of each other. Now I want that uh, the height height of that should be. So I just reduce the height to half, and this video is now looking as one. You can do anything with this code, so it is totally flexible, and uh, you can use Q to stop the video. And if you don't want, you can just hide the video. Display equal to false, and then it will not work. and all the things are there in this documentation the project url is there the github url is there and the name of the library is vision py so it is video generation py because we sometimes need to generate the videos and that videos we have to merge two videos and use ffmpeg and other stuff but if you want to do in python way then directly you can use it and uh, we have tested the vertical you know, horizontal axis of that and there is axis st stacking so we are stacking the axes but the third update which i want to happen is uh, the subsequent frame so 1 2 1 2 and like that the whole video should complete and that is i guess till now not required but it would be good if we have this so someone can find a better way to use it then there are multiple modes so you can show the video as output you can show the video output generation and uh, another thing that will be enabled in future is you can directly use the frames from the video that you are streaming or the merging so you can have that frames directly and using that frames you can use it in your 
computer is in program easy it will be an umpire array so you can directly use it and uh, yeah that's it for the whole thing and uh, feel free to use this library it is built in very less time so it is very naive but it works and uh, if you have if you find any bugs you can just report that to github in github issues and we will try to solve it so the release is done the documentation and all is done but as we will move to further stages we have to work on that thing too so that's it that's the introduction to library and it is a nice library you can use it any of the program and it is released with mit license so anyone can use it and uh, they can create some more stuff in it so feel free to star it fork it and whatever you want uh, with this library and if you have any suggestion just write down in the issues or mail to me and it will be so thank you bye